it is best that you know what to expect in your baby's pooping or peeing in the first few weeks. Many parents don't know what to do and don't know what to expect in terms of your baby's diaper. Well, in this video, we are going to talk about babies peeing and pooping. How often should baby pee? Should I be worried with a pink in the diaper? Is it blood? How about baby's pooping? Should it look like that? When does it normally change in color? Well, we will talk about these things in this video. Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquet. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. Babies peeing and pooping in the first few weeks. Urination. Well, your newborn can pee as often as every hour or every three hours, or it can be four times a day and it is just normal. If your baby feels ill or feverish or if the weather is hot, then the number of urine output may drop. Um, if your baby is in distress when peeing, then you need to worry about that because it might be a sign of an infection or there might be a problem in the urinary tract. Let your doctor know about it immediately. Uh, baby's pee is usually and normally light yellow to dark yellow in color. The more concentrated the urine is, the darker is the color. The more concentrated urine means that your baby is not drinking enough liquids. In your baby's first week of life, you might notice a pink stain in your baby's urine and is often mistaken for blood. A very concentrated urine in the first week of life can contain urate crystals and urate crystals um, gives us this pink or brick red stain or a powdery stain in your baby's diaper. It is not a cause of concern even though it looks scary. As long as your baby is making at least four wet diapers a day, it is not a cause for concern. But if the urid crystal color, this pinkish stain or brick red stain persists, you need to bring your baby to your doctor. Your doctor would ask how often is your baby feeding, if your milk supply is already in, um, and if your baby has signs of dehydration such as dry lips and going six hours without a wet diaper. Your doctor might then suggest that you increase your baby's feedings. Now, um, as long as your baby is making enough wet diapers a day, this is not a cause for concern. Is there blood in the diaper? Well, there are two reasons for blood in the diaper in your baby's first week of life that you should not worry about. The reason is different for baby boys and baby girls. Now for baby girls, one reason for blood in the diaper might be from pseudomenstruation. This is due to mom's hormones affecting your baby's uterus and it is not serious and it is not harmful for your baby. The second reason for blood in the diaper for baby boys might be from circumcision. It is normal for the circumcision site to bleed for a few hours, but there might be spots of blood coming from the circumcision site for up to a day. Um, your baby must have a urine output 12, within the 12 hours after circumcision. Now, you need to worry if there is blood in the diaper after baby's first week of life and if it is accompanied by other symptoms such as poor feeding, vomiting, fever, or bleeding from other sites. Before we talk about baby's pooping, do you want to get more training about taking care of your newborn baby? Well, do check out my website with the link provided in this video. 
Now we go to baby's pooping. Baby's first stool at birth is known as the meconium stool. These are black and tarry stools and shouldn't be a cause for concern. This is what is filled in your baby's intestine before birth. And once these meconium stools are passed, a baby's poop transition into the greenish stool and later on into the normal yellow seedy stools of newborn babies. Breastfed babies usually have yellow stools with some particles. The consistency may vary into soft to loose or runny, and all of these are just normal. Now, for formula or bottle fed babies, uh, their stools are usually more firmer than a breastfed baby's poop, but should not be firmer than soft clay. Green stools are also normal and should not be a cause for concern. Now, if your baby has hard or dry stools, it means that your baby is not getting enough liquid. If your baby has started to take uh, solid food, then if the baby's poop is hard, it means that your baby might be constipated. Now, how often should baby poop? Well, the frequency of your baby's pooping can vary. A breastfed baby can have a poop after each feeding, and it is just normal. This is from the gastrocolic reflex, where it, your baby's digestive system is active once the stomach is filled with food. Um, then, by the time your breastfed baby is around three to six weeks of age, your baby can go one bowel movement a week and it is just normal. This is because um, breast milk leaves uh, a little, just a little solid waste to be eliminated by your baby. And like I said, it is just normal as long as your baby is passing soft stool and your baby is gaining weight and nursing frequently. Now, for bottle-fed babies, they usually have a bowel movement uh, about once a day. If you note that your bottle-fed baby is having less frequent pooping and your baby is straining a lot or crying and have hard poop, then go to your pediatrician and let your pediatrician know about it because your baby might be constipated. Now, what are things that you need to note about baby's pooping? First off, there can be some variations in the color and consistency in your baby's pooping for some time, and these can all be normal. For example, your baby normally has yellow seedy stools and one day is turned greenish in color. It can still be okay. And um, for example, your baby is taking supplemental iron and your baby's poop has turned into dark brown. It is still normal. If your baby has some mild irritation in his anus and there are little streaks of blood in your baby's poop, it can still be okay and you can observe it for a while. But you need to worry if there is a large amount of blood in your baby's poop, if your baby has a fever, or your baby has a colic stool or the stool appears pale or whitish in color, and your baby is jaundiced or there is yellowish discoloration of the skin. These things you need to worry about and let your pediatrician know about it immediately. Second thing you need to note is, uh, is this diarrhea? What are the telltale signs that your baby has diarrhea? If there is increased frequency in your baby's usual pooping and if there is an unusually high amount of liquid content in your baby's poop, your baby might have an infection. And so um, watch out if your baby has a fever and also watch out for signs of dehydration and let your pediatrician know about it immediately. Third thing you need to note about are the signs of dehydration in your baby. And what are these? So if your baby is weak looking, has sunken eyes, dry lips, um, then you need to worry about those and 
bring your child immediately to your pediatrician. Also, do watch out for fever. If your baby has a fever and is less than three months of age, bring your child to your doctor immediately. Hey, if you like this video, watch my other videos where I teach you about other child health problems.